what up pisces let's do your reading real quick i do hope that this reading finds you in good health my darling and that you're feeling well and if you're not it is my intention that you will be by the end of this reading. Real quick before we start, I just wanna let y'all know that tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time, we will be having a live here for the entire collective on planet Pisces. So come on through, it'll be tomorrow, Saturday. What is tomorrow, like the 15th or the 16th, something like that. Um, it'll be at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time, all right? So come in. And if you'd like, you can have questions ready. I will open the floor for questions at the end. Um, the questions will be $10 for a one question, three card reading. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm literally watching a squirrel bury one of his nuts. I've never seen a squirrel do this before. It is so funny. All right. So investing could be significant. Okay. He just buried an acorn. That was so cute. And now he's like, it looks like he's in another place looking for where he buried his last one, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. That's funny to me. But okay, that is literally what he's doing. <laughs> he trying to figure out like what he did with the rest of his nuts. Okay. All right. So that could be significant. But yeah, don't forget about tomorrow. All right. But the first part of the reading will be like a collective, you know, Planet Pisces reading. And I have some very informative and transformative channel messages for y'all tomorrow. All right. So I hope to see y'all there. But let's get this quick reading for you real quick for the day, Pisces spirit. What um, energies are coming towards Pisces, please? Okay. We have out of order and deception. All right. So oh, clearing your mind could be significant here. And then trust in all is well and know that you are loved. Okay. Also, make sure you're making time for self-love. And then, uh, Pisces, talk less, feel more. Hello, buddy. And release your blocks, okay? Let's keep these over here. The birdies are singing us a song today, y'all. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so we have out of order and deception. Okay, release your blocks, clear your mind, trust all is well, know that you are loved, make time for self-love, talk less, feel more. All right, on the bottom of the deck, you have choices and older, and on the bottom of this deck, you have assess the situation. All right, so let's see here. Energy is coming towards Pisces, please. The number three could be significant for you right now. All right, three is the number of manifestation, collaboration, the Holy Trinity. All right, energy is coming towards Pisces. What's out of order, spirit? Energy is coming towards Pisces. All right. Energy's coming towards Pisces, Holy Spirit. What is this out of order? Three of Swords, the number three, could be significant. And the Ten of Swords, that's 13 damn swords. Somebody might need to lay down. All right, because three plus 10 is 13. And one plus three is four, the Four of Swords, right? That's rest, recuperation, recovery. So we got the three of swords and then we have the other one with deception, the three of swords and the seven of swords. And then the death is here. I'm going to put that there and that there. A Scorpio could be significant. All right. You could be learning how to protect your energy. All right, or being directed to like protect your energy. All right, for someone today, you could also, it's something about protecting a relationship or a connection as well. And like where the connection is going. Okay. All right, what is this Three of Swords in regards to? A painful ending could have occurred in your life, all right? Um, this ending could have been unexpected for some of you. All right, 
right, tell me about the Three of Swords, Spirit, please. All right, somebody could have a tattoo on their left upper arm. All right, you got the Page of Swords. And the Seven of Wands with the lovers. Like, literally, <laughs> look. All right. It's something about learning how to protect some sort of either if it's if the relationship isn't here yet, then the the idea of a relationship. Right. So let's let's break that down. What I'm saying is because you got the page of swords here this is an idea. Right. It could be an idea. But um, let's say, for instance, you're single and you want to manifest your counterpart. Right. It's something about not allowing the deception, the enemy, to come in and tell you, no, you'll never have that. No, you're you're, you're going to be whoever, whatever is going on with you right now. You know what I'm saying? Steal, kill, and destroy. Deception. All right. Trick of the enemy. All right. Let's see, though. Um, That's for somebody here. But give me a second. Something you learned about someone could have been either painful to learn or to hear is what I'm hearing too. All right, Gemini and Cancer energy showing up right now. Give me a second. It's something about two different directions, okay? Energies are coming towards them, right? What's this um, page of swords clarifying the three of swords and out of order? What's the page of swords? The lovers is here twice. All right. Wow. Okay. Somebody, you could have blocked someone or something from something okay something about a block here or there is a block give me a moment there is also a message here about learning how to like stand your ground set healthy boundaries all right with someone okay Give me another one for the page of swords, please. With the lovers, the knight of wands. Somebody could be very much inconsistent. All right, whether this is past, present, or future, you could have dealt with some sort of like inconsistent energy in a connection. All right. All right, what's the seven of wands? The six of cups, one and two out but it didn't it's some about your solar plexus i'm also here restoring your energy calling back your power you and a lover could have separated or something here and it don't have to necessarily be a lover it could be a soulmate like a high level soulmate okay what's the seven of wands It's like I'm speaking to somebody who's learning how to mend their heart. Literally, literally, like you're mending your heart from something here. Give me another one for the seven of wands, please. A third party could even be significant. You got the judgment on the bottom of the deck. Give me a moment. It's like you've blocked out some sort of communication. Like something is... Blocked. <laughs> what is this that is blocked, spirit? I heard a heart block. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles was blocked. The Four of Swords. Oh my gosh. Like some sort. This is giving me like some sort of healing is is like is taking its precious time. <laughs> okay. Some sort of mending because even the lovers, right? Because we're talking about this heart, this broken heart that has been torn into three separate pieces, 
right? The lovers is a card of union. It's a card of coming together. It has t it mending, you know what I'm saying? And I feel as though some days, whoever I'm speaking to today, like some days you may feel good and, you know, ready to get back out there or do what you need to do. And then other days, maybe not so much. Maybe you just want to lay down in bed and move slow and, you know what I'm saying? Really not do too much or nothing. What's the lover's spirit? The two of pentacles. Yeah. And then the six of cups wanted to pop out again. My gosh. This could be whatever this situation is. Let's see. One more, please. It's, and then the, the emperor. It's something about an imbalance here. Definitely a need to call your power back. You understand me? From the past, any timelines, like other dimensions, all that shit. Real talk. Aries and Gemini on the board and Cancer showing his face a little bit, a little bit of Virgo too. And then this says assess the situation. What's this block here y'all talking about releasing? All right, clear your mind, trust all is well, know that you are loved, make time for self-love, talk less, feel more, release your blocks. There's something about you not, like, you coming into some sort of realization of the power that you hold. Okay? All right. Even this woman in the Seven of Wands, look at how she's not saying anything. She looks powerful AF. Like, nothing 12-12 on the clock. That's literally the second time I've seen it in the last hour. Okay? <laughs> but, um, like, nothing can penetrate her safety right nothing can can look at those wands mm. what is the block here with release your block spirit hang man pisces energy like something preventing you from understanding something give me a moment not see like what's your release your block spirit what's the block then you got the will of fortune with the eight of cups from understanding something what do they need to understand <laughs> shit okay look i'm telling you like not getting a message or something you could even be wondering like why did this happen or why okay not understand this okay what's the seven of swords spirit for deception energy is coming towards them Damn, the Ten of Swords is heavy. That's betrayal. What is this deception spirit? What is this? The Ten of Cups, Jesus. What else? The Temperance. For someone here, a father figure could be very significant, possibly even your father. All right, Aries, Gemini, 
Sagittarius, Pisces, and fixed signs, all right, with a little bit of Cancer and Virgo. There's something about, where did the date go? Why did I put it here? It is. What is the deception here for a spirit? Enlightenment and resurrection. It's almost like, I don't know, avoidance. Look, right? Like I said, like walking away, not being able to, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's you or somebody else. I don't know. What are they avoiding, spirit? A resurrection. Look, block. It's almost like someone who was hurt, right? Very much hurt. The Three of Swords is super painful. The Ten of Swords is super painful, right? But the Ten is a number of endings, and so is the Wheel of Fortune. It's done. You know what I'm saying? And this energy right here is giving me the energy because the Ten of Cups, the Temperance, and the Three of Cups, that's beautiful energy. Why would you want to... You know, why would that even fall under deception, right? It's like someone who was hurt terribly bad here, right? Real bad. And still operating in that energy present day. Like feeling like someone, you know, like you can't trust people or... You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to interact with others or something of that nature. Because the Three of Cups and the Ten of Cups, that's family and friends. And it seems like in family and in friends is where someone will find peace. How do they release this block spirit? Wow. Loner. How do they release this block spirit? Chase. Childlike energy. All right, you got taking notes so that could be like learning something new. It looks like you are though. All right, then you have divine intervention with clues. All right, so follow the clues, tap into your childlike energy, chase after those things that you want. All right. Standalone, loner, one of a kind. All right, there's something special about you, man. Okay, <laughs> you are a standout. Okay, like uh, um, you know, um, it, it's giving me very much one of a kind. That's what, yeah, one of a kind. All right, um, find your peace in people that you trust, though. You know what I'm saying? For some of y'all, I can understand if. <clears throat> You know, for instance, like I said, this love, it doesn't have to be romantic. This could have just been a very high level soulmate or a connection, whether friends, romance, family, whatever the case may be, right? Uh, soulmates aren't just romantic. Your family, you can have soulmates in your family, your friend groups, things like that. But um, whatever happened in your past, something wounded the freak out of this beautiful heart of yours and I definitely can understand like trusting people again but it's something here about for one a guidance okay your guidance okay and trusting your guidance knowing that you're protected all right but still being very much aware of your intuition and those feelings that you get when 
Maybe things ain't so kosher. You know what I'm saying? Look, and then it's like taking notes. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Okay. There's also something here about um, overcoming the ego. All right. Anything else for Pisces today? You, wow. Wow. It says unlocked assistance, opportunity, spirit team to help you um, move forward. Then you have clones, doppelganger, and copycat. The fuck? What is this? What is clones, doppelganger, copycat? What it's giving me right now, because it says bots up here, is like assistance to come out of some sort of like repetitive state or repetitive energy or just feeling fucking stuck. <laughs> okay. Blocked. All right. Um, you want to clarify clones? Delays. Exactly. Challenge. Like helping you come out of some sort of challenge in time. Here we go. Self-care. Right. All right, focusing on you, nourishment, also standalone. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Anything else, spirit? Pick, I mean, quick. Games, pick and size, backstabber, confusion. Wait a minute, hold on. It's something about not being not it's something about like being quick to the like uh how do you say it? Um it's something about not rushing here to decide on something. <laughs> okay. What's picking sides, discord, backstabber, wrong, confusion? Here for Pisces, her energy's coming towards them. The ghetto, underestimated, and caliente, and picking sides. I mean, <laughs> looked over. Give me a moment. It's my next O R. It's my next O H. And what's quick spirit? Let's leave self love out. What's quick Holy Spirit? What the fuck? Obsessed stalker. Starstruck. <laughs> Tell me about quick, real quick, spirit. What is quick here for? Spirit, guys. Thank you. Okay, listen. Okay. And then you got annoyance and follower. What the fuck? <laughs> but I feel as though with the spirit, guys, it's something about your speed with something or something speeding up for you. All right. Also, I'm getting a message about your spirit, guys, communicating to you um, or sending you signs regarding some sort of like confusion here. It's almost like telling you who is for you or who is against you, but you're going to have to listen for and feel for those like, you know, signs and nudges that they send you. Give me a moment. I've, somebody here has been like, I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you were betrayed or hurt by someone that was either dear to you or near to you or something here.
and this this betrayal this backstabbing this this pain right it could have really stagnated you because any kind of pain, especially when it comes from someone who was close to you like a really good friend a lover a family member or something like that that shit could take time to heal that's probably why this healing look like it's moving kind of slow with the knight of pentacles here and it's this four of swords What's Chase Spirit? Because this is the advice. What, what is Chase here for? It's like, it's, a, it's also a message here to not underestimate yourself, right? And definitely don't settle. You know what I'm saying? Because... I feel like you're being guided to something and you'll be you'll you'll get there before you know it. But it's going to take like for one, a level of trust right to where your guides are leading you. There's some sort of like divine intervention that's about to come into play where something is going to be unlocked for you. Right. But based on what you OK, the unlocked car. Right. But based on what has gone on here or what may be going on now. You know what I'm saying? I feel as though it's something about them not wanting you to miss out on future opportunities based on something that happened in your past. You understand what I'm telling you? Spirit, what is Chase here for? Somebody in angle. Mm. Tracking. Chase after like the signs, okay? Go. It's some about. The... Yeah, look at that. Communication. I'm telling you, look, communication. The signs are here. I know it says imprisonment, but I'm not really feeling that. I'm telling you, race to the finish line, okay? It's like a shoe. Yes, no more but I say no. They trying to get you out of like some sort of like karmic cycle here. Whatever this deception is, like what is the deception about? Like what do they need to see about people that they may, because I feel like that might be what it is. Maybe it's something you're not seeing about people because this is three different areas. This is love, family, and friends. And at the top of all of it is deception. What is it that they need to see, Spirit, that they're not seeing? Evidence. <laughs> Shit, it says evidence. The signs. The red flags. Creeping, cheating, lying, all of this shit. So how do they see it better than Spirit? <laughs> Shit. You got two signs that say, I mean, two cars that have air in it. So definitely a clear mind, right? All right. So a clear mind. You got A, B, and then Z. Ooh, X and Z. Or Z and X. All right. Air sign cutting through the bullshit. All right, and then you got the airport. It says travel, but I'm feeling like that's more of elevating, right? That air, that truth, seeing things for what it is, a clear mind. All right, and then over here, you got confusion. You could see right through it. Don't doubt yourself. If something don't feel right, then nine times out of 10, it's not. All right, spirit. Anything else that they need to know right now? We're gonna this. We're gonna wrap it up. Yep, the first card that came out, clear your mind. 
Then yeah, right there it says hush, hush. But look, this is like being stuck in a karmic cycle. Walking away and detaching from this, but then whoop, running right back into it. To go through it again, just whoop, right back. You know what I'm saying? Mm. How do we break this karmic cycle for good, spirit? Other than what you've already told us. Healing. Healing, positivity, optimism, faith, hope, belief. Listening to your spirit, guys. Believe in yourself, right? Like it says, like, assess the situation. Assess the situation. Look at it from all angles. Become the observer. And there it is, finally, the Six of Cups and the King of Swords. This may not be for everybody, but there may be a truth that you need to face from your past. Like something that you need to accept or something. And then possibly even cut away. Alright? An Aquarius could be significant. Alright? All right, and def it's something about processing something, okay? Like, literally, something that happened. For, for some of y'all, it could even be in childhood that this happened. But just put the energy where it go. It don't have to be childhood. It could just be um, the past, all right? What is this annoyance follower shit? this okay somebody could be like i don't know lgbt could be significant it says cheating lies roller coaster less than instability annoyance follow we're gonna let's do a um an extended for the you know what i'm saying y'all know the members if you want to see the extended you can um yeah join the members join the planet all right and access the um the extended because this looks it's something else going on here it's something else going on here this is not it because this annoyance followed and came out like too many times <laughs> like real talk wow all right all right so i will see y'all over in the extended if you decide to um join us over there you will need to pick either the vip or vip 2.0 to access the extended or you could check on patreon and just purchase it one time all right anyway all the links are in the description box i love y'all so much hopefully i will see you tomorrow at 2 p.m central standard time um yeah because we're gonna turn up we're gonna get lit and those messages tomorrow are beautiful you understand me beautiful messages but anyway i'll see y'all um over there or in the extended love you much